Jim was meant to uh, provide a, a vintage bus and, you know, he'd been banging on about it. It was supposed to be, you know, really nice. And we're sitting there. Like a bat out of hell, Jalla just screams around this corner, hits the brakes, and it's like some sort of heist. It's like, get in, you know. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Come on. And uh, so you do, I mean, you just do, you follow your gut instincts, but of course, once you're in the car, you're thinking, whose is this car? And, uh, you know, subtle hints like, he doesn't know where anything is, you know, um, a lot of wires hanging out underneath the steering column. And I was just a bit suspicious, really. Is this your, whose car is this, Chabad? Um, my uncle's. You haven't got an uncle? Distant uncle, distant. He was, he was very evasive when we tried to ask him about it. I don't know, I don't know where he, he got it from. The main thing was seeing the other places, um, getting the culture and the weather, of course. I wanted to get away from, from the horrible English weather. I do have to go get the petrol. I'm glad you mentioned that. I, I know Luke thinks he's, he's a bit of a, a celebrity, an actor, but you know we, we all got to get our hands dirty at some point. And the whole time I'm thinking to myself, you are a good-looking professional actor. What are you doing carrying petrol cans? Oh, look, it's like cabbage. Oh, I thought I could smell cabbage. Yeah, the, the burning oh, this is the cabbage capital of France. Javad talks to me a lot. You know, we, we talk to each other. And I think what, what it, you know, I know Javad sees me as the leader. He hasn't said that directly. He hasn't, come, he hasn't come up to me and gone, Luke, you are brilliant. You are fantastic. You've got great style, great looks, great hair. But, you know, I can sense that. I can sense that's what he's saying. Luke actually, he kind of stays within his own shell. I don't think he's, he's as good as what he thinks he is. He, he doesn't really play to a crowd very well. And, He's quite shy, I think, in many ways. Java, don't get lost. We need you to drive, mate. Like pointing in the right direction and stuff like that. Luke, Don't you go at all. Wait, just stay at the edge. Don't... Yeah? Ow! Javad! What the hell was that? Where are you? Luke! The cornfield. Nothing happened at the corner. Nothing. No nothing happened there. All right. I know what I saw. <laughs> this is one of those little towns off the beaten track that's got like some sort of weird fertility thing they do every year and we'll be in the middle of it and suddenly a load of naked men will run across <laughs> them. a load of naked women chasing them <laughs> with a big penis sort of on a stick or something you know, yeah like some weird thing and team cynic apparently 
biggest bunch of reprobates that are around. Well, no, you know, you always meet various kinds of people over here, and you know, there's team teams in it, really don't know who they are, but well, they were trying to on them, they just sort of came along. The Swiss police are really getting on our case about it, and you know, uh, they're causing a lot of trouble for everyone. It's, it's unbelievable. I hate those people that go, oh, I'm not going to eat that because it's different. I, I, I want to try different foods from different places. <laughs> but there, was, there was a girl there and, you know, she was a big girl. She could handle herself, clearly. Um, but, you know, she challenged me. So I went straight over. I beat you in arm wrestle as well. Can I have one? Oh, you will. Okay, good one. arm wrestle. It was a glorious moment. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Took you down. I've never felt like more of a man than when I took her down. I think it's healthy that, you know, a guy can hold another guy's hand and it just be friendly, right? Just be, you know, because you want a bit of intimacy and a bit of warmth and, you know, it's a long, long drive. And, uh, you know, I was missing, missing the family and, uh, Jab was there for me. I was just passing him some money and we were next to a road so and he nearly lost his balance so he just held onto my hand for a little bit and it just looked as if we were holding hands whereas we weren't. It's nothing, it's nothing. Seriously nothing. Well it's not nothing obviously. You know it's very special but sorry, anyway, yeah. So the, today's adventure was kind of a bit bizarre. I mean, who would have known that both the passes would have got closed with snow? <laughs> so the snow was really bad up there, actually. You know, we started going up, and you'd have to be a complete idiot to actually try going up there. It does look like we've got through the worst of it, to be honest. To oh, this. It really does. Right, we need to turn around, I think. Yeah, that is, are those, that's, they're quite noisy, aren't they? Yeah. Those windscreen wipers. Yeah, it's all right. No, it's no problem. Uh, really? Yeah. It is really annoying, that. I'm going to rip those windscreen wipers off when we stop. Doing my nothing, man. It is that constant dig, dig, dig. It's like someone putting nails in your coffee. All right, all right, all right. Alright, 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 leave it. Not now, Jim. Not now what? No. Turn it off, please. I'm serious. It's alright. I'm just getting some, you know, some shots, like. I'm not, no point taking it out on me just because that thing's annoying you. Do a Big Mac, please. Big Mac. Yeah. yeah. And fries for four. And I want the. Do you do the shapes? Oh, bye then. We're off. Get hold of the card. And go. Which window? Just run. It must be way down here, we pick it up later. Yeah. You know the thing about music um, is that it's timeless. You know, good music is good music, doesn't matter when it comes from, what decade. Uh, unless, of course, it's this decade, uh, because it's and the crap I was subjected to. Naturally, I am the leader, it was my idea. And, and, and I think people have this tendency just to, to gravitate towards me and they see me as that, that focal point, almost like how a parasite latches onto the stronger host. It's been quite clear that 
I was the one that sort of glued everything together. I was I was the leader. You know, I'm the youngest, so you wouldn't think so. But you know, everyone pretty much started to respect my authority. All right, not bad. Get over it. The, the kids need somebody to wrangle them. You know, so uh, yeah. Apart from it being sort of me being the major driving force behind it, I, I really sort of needed to sort of look after the team a little bit. You know, if you look at like Jim, who's someone in his sort of fifties and sixties, he's looking at me. And he's literally thinking to, to himself, word for word, who is this gutsy young maverick? The biggest thank you of all goes to the person I'm going to introduce next, which is Nicola. Without <laughs> whom <laughs> none of us would be here. <laughs> Nicola, the awards, thank you. The awards were going quite well, actually. And then, Jim shows up. He says he got the wrong day, but you know, I, I think we all know that he just wants to be the only one in a dress on an occasion like that. Oh yeah, definitely. We'll definitely be doing the, the rally again with all the all the same guys. You know, Jim, Javad, especially Luke, because I know Luke loved it so much. I'd like to do it again, I think, but um, I'm not too sure if my uncle would lend me his car again. Mm -hmm.